Hi Gemini, this is Shah and welcome to your romance reading for February 2021 and I'm using the Enchanted Love Tarot and I'm also using the Romance Oracle deck and the Linamon and the Celebrations of, of Love. So, I hope you have also seen the weeklies and I hope you enjoy them. Please like and share. Thank you. We, You come in with the Eight of Roses and the Eight of Roses is the Eight of Wands. So there could be uh, things happening all at once and very swiftly. You could also be receiving news, perhaps from a, a, a friend inviting you out to dinner or taking a walk in the park. Um, it could be any kind of news. But that is what the Eight of Roses stand for. And we've got a, a, a word here, how do you call it? Um, it says singles. Um, so singles, yes. So it's quite apt for the reading of the romance reading. Singles. If you are single, there could be new love coming in as the... Um, Oracle card says new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. If that has not happened yet, then it could happen shortly. Exciting for the singles. Now, if you're hooked up, you could also be um, meeting um, a new person, but it doesn't have to be a new love. Perhaps it can be a person that you love as a friend. Um, it all depends what your situation is. If you are not happy in a relationship, then perhaps you could be meeting somebody new as well. But be careful what you do. And we all have our ups and downs in our general life and also in our relationships. So is it worthwhile uh, taking on a new love? But remember, when you take on a new love, that means that your relationship will change okay and it can you can never turn back the clock so is it worth taking on a new love if you're hooked up so there is a warning be careful then we in this could be in the first week but remember time is man-made so it can happen during the coming month Ten of Wings. The Ten of Wings is the Ten of Swords. Now I can understand how that relates to the first set of cards. You might feel that somebody stabbed you in the back. Perhaps um, that's what the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wings means. And it's a difficulty. Yes, if you do take on a new love, there will be strife and there will be difficulties. There might even be a divorce, but the trust is broken. For those that are single, you might have been stabbed uh, by your previous partner in the back, or it might feel like that, and that's why you are looking for a new love. And it says playfulness on the oracle card, and the oracle card is playfulness. What does that mean to you? Be more playful. Let your inner child come out. Let your spontaneity be, be seen. You are um, the third house, Gemini. So you are the child. You are creative. You are playful. So let it come out. And it says playfulness. It, uh, playfulness means also literally uh, be more passionate. Play with your partner. That means butterflies in the stomach. Ooh, nice one. And this will help to recapture romance. Allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. It is quite important to have fun times as well and not to be too serious. Um, it's like too serious is like I get the saying in my head. Work, work, work. Jack works all the time makes Jack a dull boy. You might be the professional because we've got the King of Wings here, the King of uh, Swords, and that is Gemini. But don't exclude Libra or Aquarius. 
after all you might be serious already in the uh, in the season of Aquarius we are in the season of Aquarius and in the age of Aquarius this is definitely um, um, a different energy. Have a look at the energy of Aquarius video then you can see whether it resonates with you. The, um, the energy is also to rebel against um, the norm or traditional things so you can see that as well but in a positive sense let your inner child come out and don't be too serious. But you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius in Aquarius. The professional, yes he's a professional man, the king of swords, he knows the letter of the law and he's a good advisor, he's a good uh, person to have beside you or it, to cover you your back um, in judicial situations. So if you are going through a separation or difficulties because we've got the word difficulties in the ten of swords here and we've got a new love so for those that have a new love and have separated because this could be a divorce you might be going through a difficult time uh, you're cutting away from the past because you've got a new love and then this king of wings the king of swords is good to have by your side to defend you because he stands for justice, municipalities, uh, institutions. Um, so that is the court and that is also um, institutions like the courts, the registrar office. So for those that have found new love, you might be getting married. Whoa. Uh, now it's time to get serious. Now it's time to be professional and or see the professional like uh, uh, the, the person of the registrar office or um, of the church. So perhaps there need to be some professional things done so get the attitude of the king of swords. Be professional, be clear, communicate clearly as he also stands for communication and wisdom. Seek the um, information that you need with regards to your relationship to perhaps bring it back into balance um, and to get the playful playfulness started again. So you might see also this could be a marriage guidance counsellor for those that are in, um, uh, in the um, separation because the Ten of Swords does mean separation cutting away. It could be a temporary but it could also be permanent. And you need to talk about things um, to guide you back on the road of love and passion and playfulness. It could be, um, I don't know what the English name is, but it's people that uh, work with relationships and not only the theoretical side, but the practical side. Um, consummating uh, uh, advisor or guide or uh, that is on the sexual side. Perhaps there might be some uh, issue there. There's not enough passion so you need to seek somebody that knows how to in be a, a comforting partner and an exciting partner as well like learning how to do massage or anything uh, sexually. You can see the programs on TV. I'm sure you've seen them. So people are guided to come together and to learn how to um, g go around with each other, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yes, but some people um, don't open up and the uh, swords people, they, the widow, uh, uh, the queen is usually called the ice queen or the widow, they cut themselves off. Well, that's not true they can be very very funny and they've got the sense of humor and they're very creative the Gemini's are also known that when you get married to a Gemini like the king of one uh, king of swords um, they, you don't just get one person you get a harem so some people can't cope with a Gemini Gemini so understand that try to take a step back and this is what you will learn with um, a gui marriage guidance counsellor or a relationship counsellor or 
anybody that um, deals with emotions. Um, um, we call them sexiolog <laughs> sexiology uh, guide, okay, in Holland. And you do go to university for that. It's a bit like a psychologist plus a practical side of it. Okay, and you, if you, somebody might not be able to open up, like being cold, like the ice cream or the ice skin. Okay, so they might find it very hard to open up to you. So because they can't cope with you, because you are so swift, you are after all an air sign. So be patient, take a couple of steps back, come back to their level and see how you can connect because you are the biggest connector of all because you stand for communication, wisdom, so use it use those uh, tools that you have to communicate with the hands, with the body, with the looks um, may uh, get in touch with your inner self and your higher self You'll be the uh, empath that you can be, because you are really something. We are. We Geminis are brilliant. We've got best of both worlds. Now we have to show our partner to enjoy best of both worlds, and actually show them that they also have two worlds. They've got the world of being alone, and they've got the world of being with a Gemini. Boom. Okay, they get more worth for their money. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. <laughs> and um, but the uh, Gemini's are warm people. You just have to give them a chance and try to also give them their freedom. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, because they're always also loyal to others, and um, they need something enticing or interesting to keep their concentration. Uh, focused on what they are doing. So uh, communicate also with your partner. That is your gift, okay? So talk. Don't don't go into being the psychological uh, or the uh, psychiatrist or the psychologist. I know we sometimes can do that. Try to think for others and try to understand them. Ask them and let them speak and so that they will reveal their inner selves. Then we have the Nine of Gems, that's the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles means that we are professional pentacles. We do, we do try to provide for our families and give them the best, um, but we have to also learn to be creative, which is an, uh, a gift or a talent from the Gemini, and let the inner child out and go out and play and enjoy our um, partners and families. The nine of uh, gems means that there is money, could be money issues, there could also be more money coming in and creating independence, uh, yes, for your family. So you are quite independent, but remember, um, a relationship exists out of two people. Not your other side, not the other Gemini, but your partner. This could be a, a Cancer, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Taurus, this could be any of the other signs. It could also be a Libra or an Aquarius, as that's the only person that you have lying here with the tarot cards. I'm reading for thousands of people, so just take from the reading what resonates uh, with you, um, and otherwise have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign. Now the nine of pentacles. Money is you uh, handy and it's useful, but it won't buy happiness. Just remember that, Gemini. Very soon, very soon. Something is happening very soon, so there could be a pay rise, so you might be able to buy that big house and extend, extend the family very soon. Clearly decide what you want, so that it comes to you now. Do you want independence, or do you want to be um, with uh, a partner? That is the question here. I independence can also uh, be um, that um, 
you are still a young couple and you are living with your in-laws or with other family members and you wanted this promotion and that's why you've been too serious, too professional uh, because you're wanting this raise or a better job and very soon you will have that and you will get your independence like I said, independence of for the family now I've got the Lenormand cards here and I would like to have a clarification card on the Ten of Wings the Ten of Swords well that's a bit too much so let's have a look this one is coming out ah that there have been arguments you've got the clouds this could be with the King of Wands this could have been with an Aries okay but don't um, exclude Leo or Sagittarius but remember the Sun is already coming out it's short-lived it is finished though it is difficult in some cases it will be finished and the trust might not be there but I feel that the communication wasn't there okay there were only arguments um, that could have been with like the somebody from the ones but um, it will be short-lived because you are a lot alike and if you can communicate and get to know what the point is without arguing then you will um, be okay there will be a new beginning because 10 becomes a 1 and a 6 is balanced so 6 means balance so there will be balance in the relationship but you have to talk and um, the, your partner will have to realize that communication is of the essence here okay now that is and I would like to have a card on the king of wings see what he is whether he is a potential partner or a guide okay now I've been shoveling the cards and we've got the fish this again it means luck at work luck uh, money luck in money luck at work like that promotion that I was talking to you about okay um, you can work in groups you've got number 34 which is 7 and that means luck okay and you've got the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles again an advisor somebody that goes for durability tangibility and long term so there could be uh, an, uh, the air signs there could be earth signs those are the two per persons um, again that is a father figure everything he touches will turn to gold so if you communicate correctly or you have an advisor um, this could I think the king of win wings is an advisor but the king of uh, pentacles could also be an advisor he will talk uh, you, he, will, he might be a Gemini with earth or the earth sign with an air sign um, there will be clear talking there will be clear communication and uh, I also because the King of Pentacles means whatever he does will turn to gold because he's got the meters touch uh, I think it will be resolved and again you've got the balance here we've got the King of Wands so it is big major people um, uh, status um, symbols that are here so we've got Aries Leo Sagittarius we've got Taurus Virgo uh, Capricorn and we've got Gemini Libra and Aquarius and three Kings that is quite significant so there could have been an argument with the King of Wands the King of Air um, and uh, the King of Pentacles it, there could have been arguments about money because we've got the nine of Pentacles gems here as well so perhaps now that the money is coming in and you've learned to work in you can work well in groups they just had to see that you can do it um, and there is luck but you have to set your boundaries boom cut away what is no use and set your boundaries boom it's like taking a sword and uh, pulling a line in the sand you can do that visually so set your boundaries let others know what your boundaries are and you will have the meters touch awesome you've got a seven here 
awesome. You're moving from seven, six, seven, eight, nine. You're moving upwards, so you're going on. You're on the right path. You're going the right way, and this can also be because there might not have been any communication with regards uh, to finances within the relationship and that has caused friction so make sure that you talk about everything within the relationship and in the house and the family okay getting to know each other you never stop getting to know each other because we can't think for somebody else you have to ask to find out I hope you have enjoyed this reading and now I'm going to pull a card from the Celebration of Love Oracle and here we go. Let's have a look. Millie's being a little pain. <laughs> she really nearly trapped over her uh, over the wire. Sorry about that if you hear something. Here you go. You've got the truth. The truth. Speak the truth. Be the king of swords. Be clear. He stands for clarity, honesty and justice. So be clear. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And it's that will bring you down to earth, back into balance with both feet on the ground. Don't be airy-fairy and don't be stuck in your head. Be clear. Be precise. Say to your partner or potential partner, what is niggling at you? It could be the finances, it could be the work. Okay? If you want to spend more time with them, let them know. And if they, and if something is not right and they haven't said it or asked you, then ask them. I hope this has helped you. This is the energy for February for Gemini. So take care and stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you.